Okay, so now I've got this area flattened where I want, about to where I want it. As you can see, I left a bit of space here. And that's because this area is going to be carved in relief. I want to make sure I've got enough room. I can always adjust that later. Now I'm going to start rounding off this, this side here. Again, I'm going with the grain. I'm following the lines that we drew out. Turn it over so I can get the other side. Now that we've got this area here rounded off fairly well, I'm going to focus on this little area that's going to be underneath the relief carving. So I want to cut in here and cut this little bit off here. I'll show you what I've done. I've drawn a line across to the other side. I've already made a start on this side. And what we're going to do is make a stop cut. And I'll show you how to do that. We're going to take our knife just cut in like this. Now turn it over. As you can see I've already drawn inside where approximately the width of the the cane see and with the stop cut there we know we're not going to accidentally go into the part where we're going to be carving in relief and we'll just keep doing this So we've got this little area clean. Once you start getting to the bottom of your stop cut, turn your knife around, do the same thing again, make another stop cut. Okay, now we've got this little area where our relief carving is going to be blocked off a bit. From here on in, basically we're going to be cutting off everything that isn't going to be part of the cane. If we look from the top, obviously we don't want our handle this thick. Um, so go ahead and draw lines down to approximately the thickness that you want your handle to be. Um, to be on the safe side, always leave it a bit larger or a bit wider than it's going to be in the end. You can always take more off as you go along. You can't put it back once it's gone. Um, look at our front. I've roughed out in a circle here where our relief carving is going to be. All this area here is going to be cut off as well. 